So, um, trying to have this Veronica Lake hair going on. It's not quite working. Uh, it's Veronica Lake's birthday. So, uh, today's film noir is another Fox noir. I've really been hitting the Fox noir hard this, uh, year. And that's partly because Videodrome has, like, almost all of the Fox film noir DVDs. So today's was, uh, Somewhere in the Night. It's from Joseph L. Mankiewicz. It's about four years before he did his big breakout, All About Eve, and, um, Letter to Two Wives, Letter to Three Wives. So in this film, you have John Hodiak. I rented this because I really wanted to watch a John Hodiak movie. I was in a John Hodiak mood. If you don't know John Hodiak, look him up. He was um, featured on Somewhere in the Stars in 2014, I believe, and that's when I first sort of got to know him as an actor, and he's just great. And he's one of the few actors that can do that, like, mustache, that, that um, Clark Gable tiny mustache without looking creepy. Like, him and Clark, Clark Gable are about it. Um, and obviously John Waters, but John Waters does it to be creepy. So, uh, in this, it's a, it starts at the end of the war and there's a man who has, he's in a, a Navy hospital. He doesn't know who he is. People are calling him George Taylor. He's like, who is George Taylor? Is that me? I don't think that's me. Um, what is happening? I don't understand. And he gets out of the hospital and start, tries to find, um, who George Taylor is, if that really is him. He discovers that a mysterious man named Larry Cravat has put a bunch of money in his bank account, in George Taylor's bank account, and he's trying to be like, who is this guy? While trying to track down Larry Cravat and or George Taylor, he meets several women, including Margot Wood as the femme fatale Phyllis. She is fantastic. Uh, Nancy Guild as Christy Smith, the slightly uh, less fatale femme fatale. Um, a police detective played by Lloyd Nolan. Um, a very sweet woman played by Josephine Hutchinson, uh, a man with a tattoo and a wife beater played by Sheldon Leonard, um, a man in a spa played by Harry Morgan, and um, a foreigner who may be the key to all things played by um, Fritz Kortner, a bartender played by Whit Bissell, and last but not least, a club owner played by the one, the only, Richard Conti. This is a lot of people, and this is one of those plots that has a lot of twists and a lot of turns, and mistaken identity, and amnesia, and femme fatales, and double crossing, and the mob, and Nazi gold, which um, is always good when you've got Nazi gold mixed into your story. You have police detectives, you have private investigators, you have Dames, you have songbirds, you have the mob, you have so many different things all mixed into one beautiful stew that is somewhere in the night. Um, it's based on a story by Marvin Barowski, and the screenplay was by Minkwitz and Howard Dimsdale. Um, it was released in 1946, right in the big, that height of that great, like 41 is the beginning of noir, 44 is when you really start getting things like Laura, and then 46 is 46. 44, 45, 46, 47, that output of noir, especially from Fox, is so rich. Um, and there's so many good films that are, you know, like highest quality, like Laura kind of things. And even these mid-level noirs that are just so good. And Fox was so good at turning them out. Um, this was a great, great film. Um, it was also, there was a radio version with John Hodiak um, reprising his role in Lynn Barry doing the women for the Lux Theater in 1947. I always loved those. Um, Bosley Crowther hated this movie when it was released. Bosley Crowther always hates movies. Um, sometimes I love him. Oh. Uh, apparently, hold on. Hold the phone for a second. Uh, I thought that, hmm. Hmm. What? Oh, apparently the, John Ireland does some of the voiceover. I wonder if that's at the beginning or I did not recognize that. Well, anyways, this movie has everybody and um, their grandmother in it and it's twisted. And oh, part of it was shot in Bunker Hill. So if you're a big fan of the Bunker Hill noirs, as I am, 
you should definitely check this out. Um, there's a great book on the Bunker Hill Noirs that um, is actually over on my table over there. I was going to grab it, but I don't want you to see the rest of my house, so um, it's a mess right now. But the Bunker Hill Noir uh, book is fantastic, and just the history of Bunker Hill in Los Angeles is quite interesting in the way it was used in film and how it doesn't exist the way it was, and the only way you can see Bunker Hill as it once was is in mostly in these film noir um, films. So this is somewhere in the night from 1946. It's starring John Hodiak. It's directed and written by Joseph L. Mankiewicz. I highly recommend it. It's a great Who Am I Noir 